welcome back everyone to another installment another review of another cool little sound box now i have this installed one of these installed in my crawler and this is the sense innovations ess jewel you get the instructions you get the dean's power you get the actual unit itself and you get this for the pc link and you also get quite a few different mounting options so you can mount it anywhere you want anyhow you want i have think i used um this one on mine yeah that one uh th th these are made made to fit in crawls and clip to body posts and and stuff really really good i I recommend these. Um, yeah, little standoff uh, bracket there. <coughs> yeah, pretty, uh, pretty smooth. You get the fixing screws and everything. The wire lead for the throttle. We don't need that because I have the breakout board. So we're going to put the power adapter to one side and all those parts because we don't need those. So, I'm just going to split those down just a tad because that one plugs into there. The horn into slot one and the throttle Y lead. I'll just plug that into my breakout board. And then, of course, we need power. There we go, we'll get some um, juice in there, just using a six cell uh, nickel metal hydride pack, which, well, still showing good. So the Sense ESS Jewel. It's upside down, but it don't matter it has a speaker on each end so we've got the radio on turn on the model and that should There is no sound in there for the horn just yet. Right, there are two sounds pre-installed and I think we need to uh, program this first to the thing uh, which I believe is press and hold the plus button right and then press oh full throttle full brake and then that now there is a way of there's instructions on how to mount it it looks like it's uh, in a crawler and it tells us axial SCX102 SCX10 TRX4 and Wraith so obviously the yeah the Wraith it clips into the uh, 
the roll frame. Pretty good, four types of holder matching the crawlers, which is what this is designed for. But there's nothing wrong with putting them in the thing. So we can increase the volume. Or decrease it. Bloody hell. Right, let's go for um sound switch in the running mode long press the minus so long press the minus switches between the two sounds and let's see what we can um, achieve with the laptop Right, so what I'm going to do is power off the system. I'm going to leave it, um, leave that plugged in, but we need to unplug the two servo cables because one servo cable you need to plug into the S Link, and because of the cable length, plug that into the laptop and we go on here let me uh, try and get rid of the reflection unlock and we look for a program called Ningbo Sense Technology We click yes because it's going to make changes to to this. Let's make a big screen. So at the moment we have the short course buggy, right? So on here we can let me uh, zoom in on what we're going to be doing. And we can, listen to that, that's what's, and then we can change that to the Scania and click install. Might take a couple of minutes to um, write to it. I don't know how fast the processor is in um, in the sense products. The power isn't switched on to this. It's just inert, but it is still plugged in to the power supply just here. It is now writing to the system. I don't know why they got this uh, ferrite suppressor in there. Now that is finished. And listen, there's no car horn in there. So we can reset the idle to on or off. And we can have it shut down anything between one second up to let's go 300 
yeah you can go up to 300 but I keep it to five and click save save successful rev limiter is not supported on this we can do the we can do the shifting right shift speed 45 percent we'll go down to um, 30 percent on that and click save so now it'll change gear and we'll go to brake brake enabled turbo is enabled custom we'll turn that on or off full switch modulation forward or reverse and let's have a look at what we've got let's go for ships whistles install for vehicle number one right finished and we'll go to install for the scania on vehicle number one <coughs> So let's have a quick shifty at how that works out and we'll unplug the S-Link I do like this Windows 11 quite funky very yeah uh, very good can't do anything while it's writing it takes it, it must be a big file because it's got all those different rev ranges right finished so if we go on to this this is our and you can see we've got the scania short course buggy is number two um we can go into configuration from here um local sounds are the ones that i've already downloaded and um, store is where you can download anything so if you go for um all car you see you get your drift touring nascar tow truck which has got your scania you can download turbochargers brakes but yeah the tow truck is the one with the scania waiting for it to update quick enough so we we'll want a tow truck there we go and that's that one we can play sample it and that's the one that's installed so let's close that and get rid of the laptop unplug the s-link cable put that back into channel 6 put that back into there bring this back to where I can work on it and we'll see where we go with this one radio on so there is the truck sound uh, uh, 
And again, if you just press the minus button, long press, takes it to the different model. So when it's running, press and hold to switch it back to the Scania. I like these. These sound great when they're in an enclosure. So if you were to enclose that in, depending on what you fit that speaker in, Obviously, once it's in a cab, it will sound different. I like this very much, very much indeed. And you pair that up with a cheapo light kit, which I'm going to do a video on. This is as basic as it gets. You get lights, you get indicators, and it's no nonsense, 12 quid off eBay. You pair that with that and you're good to go. So yeah, all pretty good stuff. So switch that off and switch that off. And as usual, thanks for watching and um, comments, likes, I do uh, appreciate that. And uh, I will see you on the next one.